Good Day for Imperialism, Bad Day for Freedom. As many of you may have already heard by now, in the Philippines, the government of Aquino is currently writing a new agreement with the United States that would not just allow the U.S. military to remain in the country, but would actually give access to the U.S. military to Filipino bases. It would actually give the U.S. military the right to have their bases inside of the armed forces of the Philippines. This would massively expand the U.S. military presence inside the nation. I mean, we're at the point now where before the people of the Philippines could pretend that they weren't occupied. There was just visiting forces there to help them. Now, that illusion is entirely shattered. On top of this, there are gigantic new bases being built in the country with these specific, you know, planning going into them to give access to U.S. forces. That's right. The tax money collected from the Filipino people, because God knows the rich don't pay any more of their taxes than they do here, are being forced to pay for their own occupation by the United States. This, this claim that the U.S. military is there to protect the Philippines from its, you know, quote-unquote, external enemies is absolutely fallacious. The entire point of the U.S. military to be in the country is to fight situations that occur inside. Now, many people can point to the growing uh, parts of imperialism, particularly with situations with the DPRK and more specifically China, due to the rising conflict that's coming up between China and other countries inside Southeast Asia. But let's face it, the reason these are really going in is because of the internal conflict that's going on in the country. The country has been, to a degree, uh, suffered a great deal of uh, destabilization, what with the uh, typhoon Haiyan, which frankly the country hasn't really recovered that well from yet. And many, particularly and obviously the poorest areas, are still suffering a great deal from this. Agreement on Enhanced Defense Cooperation is the agreement that's looking to be signed between the United States and the Philippines. Well, they're expecting the agreement to be finalized and signed in April when U.S. President Barack Obama is set to visit the country. And it's believed at this time the agreement will be official. Now, the Communist Party of the Philippines, uh, the New People's Army, strongly condemn this act. The CPP cited the Aquino regime's rush to construct and expand facilities within and around the AFP's naval bases in Oyster and Ulungan Bays, both in Palawan, in order to address the demand for larger and more modern ports to accommodate the increasing number of U.S. warships docking in the Philippines. Thus, the funds of the AFP modernization program are essentially being used to upgrade facilities to be used by the U.S. military. Even with all the super profits that are extracted from the Philippines through third world exploitation, their money is still being spent on their own occupation. Even with all the desperate need with the people who have still yet to be taken care of with uh, you know, Hurricane Haiyan, that money is still going towards their occupation rather than their own recovery. And this is the real face of imperialism. The human need of the people being destroyed are being ignored in favor of forces with the specific intent of building up infrastructure for their own repression. If this isn't bad enough, women's groups across the country are letting everyone know, warning everyone, that when you have an increased presence of foreign troops, particularly U.S. troops, rapes, a mass increase in rapes and prostitution, are not far behind. In fact, U.S. troops are known for being some of the worst in the world when it comes to the rape, exploitation, and murder of women of the countries that they occupy, just as South Korea sometime. And they're warning that this will also lead to an increase in human trafficking in and around the ports that are specifically being designed for the U.S. military, and warn that this is something that's going to drastically increase if this deal goes through. But I also see something else that's very telling of what's really going on. The U.S. military is being allowed to put their own installations inside the bases of the armed forces of the Philippines. So what happens when groups like the NPA are legitimately rising up against the government, the bourgeois structure that's brutalizing people, part of the capitalist imperialist system? What happens when they go out and they fight their legitimate military target, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, and there's a U.S. base in the middle of it?
Well, then the U.S. military turns around and says, oh, the communist guerrillas in the Philippines attacked us. And then when that happens, now we've got a nice, safe justification for sending in the U.S. military to one of its, frankly, puppet governments to kill more of the people they're occupying. I mean, look at it. Look what they can do with Libya based on, well, frankly, nothing. Look at what they're already doing to Syria right now. You don't think that if it looks like it's going to be even close to hitting something that's U.S. owned inside the country, that they won't use this as a justification for sending troops in there? I mean, we know exactly what they're going to say. They're going to turn around and say, oh, look, they've hated us. They've hated us for this whole time. Well, yeah, rightfully so. You are, after all, occupying their country. In the end, this is a direct and deliberate attack on the sovereignty of the Philippines. And a measure aimed to hinder the people's own ability to rise up and fight their own corrupt government and end the system that's doing this to them. And they have that legitimate right to do so. How many Americans say that they should overthrow their own government because it's being repressive, yet they're first to jump on board to support the U.S. to prevent other people from having the legitimate right to overthrow their government if they really don't want it there? Everyone, the CPP, the NPA, the National Democratic Front of the Philippines, everyone denounces these actions. And no one sees this as a good thing. Few small reactionary groups and the government of Aquino itself sees this as something that should happen. But it's a direct and deliberate assault upon the rights of the Filipino people to not only fight corruption and oppression in their own country, but it violates their national sovereignty as well. Thank you for watching. Please comment and rate the video. If you liked it, hit subscribe or check out some of these other great videos. If you wish, share it on social media. And while you're at it, why don't you follow me on Twitter? And if you got time, go on over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.